just finishing up the spa. Here I am, hello, outside of the Vitality Spa on the 11th floor, and I'm about to head in um, to go for a facial. We made the reservation just yesterday, and um, just over the phone, I didn't even have to bother coming in. Made the reservation, and they said, we actually started making, or I mean, the reservation was actually, to start with, was for a hair appointment. But then I got a voicemail yesterday saying that I had won some sort of prize. $30 off a of facial, so now I'm doing a facial as well. So this is the entrance to the spa. What will happen is I'll go in and I'll check in and I'll give them my cruise card. And then they'll probably lead me to the little re pre-treatment relaxation area where I'll sit for a few minutes and then um, they'll take me into the room. So I'll, I'll show you that. And here we go into the spa. This is a little um, table showing you the different kinds of treatments that they have. These are nice, these are hot rocks. What they do is they, they heat them up and they give you a massage with them and they put those on your back and it feels really good. But this right here is my favorite. This is the Thai poultice massage. So there's like herbs um, in there and they use it kind of like this on your back and it feels really good. That's my favorite one. This one is the coconut one. It's similar to that but it's not as um, intense. There's like some sort of coconut something in there as well. And then they have this um, kind of like sugar scrub that you can take with you into the uh, rainforest shower. And then I guess these are, I've never had this one, this bamboo rollers, which would probably feel pretty good too. So let's see what we're going to do here. Hello, how are you? Um, I have an appointment at 9.15 for facial. 1038 is our cabin. Yes, Allison. Do you need my card? Yes, please. Bear with me. Um, no, I've had it before. Okay. Not on this ship, though. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, so I've just finished filling out my, um, my health questionnaire. It just asks about, you know, your name and age and stuff. And then it asks if you have any specific problems that they want you to address, which I don't really. I just want to have a nice facial and get my face nicely cleaned. So it's uh, not too much of a concern for me. But um, now you just wait in this very relaxing atmosphere. I'm the only one here, which is why I'm doing a video. Otherwise, I would, if there were other people here, I probably wouldn't want to um, be talking out loud because it is very relaxing kind of atmosphere that you just want to be quiet and mellow out. So, but it's so far so good. And I'm just waiting for my facialist to come in. She'll come and take me into the room and I'll show you the room uh, once I'm in it um, so you can see what it looks like. Okay, here I am in the room. She just sat me down on that chair over there and just had a little chat with me about the um, kind of facial that she's gonna give me, but it's a pretty tight squeeze here. A little product. They use Elemis products. Elemis brand is what they use here. And uh, I'm just gonna hop on that bed and then she's gonna use all her lotions and potions and some sort of like magic machine and uh, we'll see how it goes, all right? just finished with the spa so I had my spa facial which was amazing I think I actually fell asleep it's possible that I started snoring but it was really good now I had the spa or the facial itself was $165 I got some sort of special high-tech option to plump oxygen into my skin so I'm just looking at the bill here that's why I'm looking down but it's $165 but I had a $30 credit Allegedly, I won some sort of raffle prize. Um, 
I don't know if that's true or not, or they just use that as a promotional way for me to get into the, the spa. But anyway, so the total came to $135. And then they also add an auto gratuity of, I think it's like 18%. It came out to $24.30 as a gratuity. There is a blank line for you to add an additional gratuity or tip. But um, I've been told by the people that work in the spa that they actually receive that auto gratuity. So Catherine, uh, Catherine who did my, my facial, uh, would have got that $24 in um, tip already. So I have tipped extra before if they did something really, really terrific or special. Um, but this was, I mean, this facial was really great and very relaxing and I, I really enjoyed it. But it was, you know, it was kind of par for the course or what I would have expected. So I didn't tip additional. And then I, um, after my facial appointment, I had a hair appointment and I was originally going to get um, highlights and lowlights um, <laughs> because I missed my, um, uh, my hair appointment at home the week before we came here because we had something else going on so I couldn't make it. Have a barber on board and a hairstylist. Does she do highlights? Do they yes, do highlights? We do that. Mm. So I wanted to have highlights and lowlights here, but the uh, the very nice lady in the salon was hesitant to color my hair because she um, didn't know exactly what color my um, my hairstylist at home uses. It seemed like she wanted to do all over color as opposed to foils, um, and so she just wasn't too sure, and I could tell she didn't want to do it. So I said, that's fine, I'll just have a haircut and you can just blow it out. So this is the result of it. Um, she did a nice job too, that was $79, um, and then she received the auto gratuity of $14.22. So that was my time in the spa. I really like going to the spa because it's very relaxing. Um, even that when she was like washing and, and conditioning my hair, uh, it was super relaxing and blow drying my hair. She, so they do a really nice job and it's just like a nice little treat um, if you've got some time on the ship and just wanna do something nice for yourself. So I enjoyed the spa, but that's it for now.